Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on January 12th, 2021. Welcome to another Surviving Down the Planet, looking here at a world report where we look at space weather, world weather, and earthquakes and volcanoes. Starting out here looking at the sun, the last 48 hours of imagery incoming here, not very active sunspot, some plasma filaments dancing there in the southwest outgoing here plasma filaments active in the outgoing position as well closer look here at the sunspot and plasma and we are at a kp index of two right now as we are seeing solar wind speeds of about 430 kilometers per second looking here at a couple other lights no coronal holes to talk about, only that one not very active sunspot. Looking here at our real-time solar wind, as we did have a spike up to about 584 kilometers per second. Saw the triangle flip there a little bit. But right now we are calm somewhat at 423 kilometers per second. Schumann resonance for today, power of seven, a quiet buzz across the planet right now, but we're also seeing very low frequency earthquakes all across the planet, as well as very big shakers across Greece and many other places. So let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours, starting out here, most recent in Puerto Rico, three point uh, 3.8 as well they've seen quite a swarm there today as well 4.9 4.2 there in Mexico 2.5 in New Mexico White City as well 2.9 Thatcher Utah and since California's Petrolia 4.3 earthquake last night we've seen a couple rumbles there but it's pretty quiet across the North American plate right now <clears throat> And you're going to see where all this energy is going very shortly. As you can see, only two earthquakes to report there in Alaska. 5.9 here early, early this morning in Japan at a 213 kilometer depth. As well, we saw a lot of earthquakes throughout Indonesia and as well Philippines. 5.0 there, 5.2, 5.9 Indonesia. It has been very, very busy. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who might have been affected. Looking at the deepest earthquakes last 24 hours, 559 kilometer depth from Fiji. And as well, a 5.4 5 here in Bellany Islands region. And then, yeah, here just today, we've seen about nine aftershocks throughout Mongolia. As I reported yesterday, that large 6.8 earthquake. As well, Afghanistan seeing a 4.4 and as well, Iran a 4.3. And just recently, a 5.2 and a couple pretty quick aftershocks in Greece. 4.7s in Kemaju. African plate, pretty quiet. South American plate, two earthquakes to report in Chile, in Calama. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. And let's just bump it up to the last seven days. And you can see 
This has been a very active Eurasian plate the last seven days. Large 6.8 followed by about almost 9 to 10 aftershocks now in Mongolia. And you can see all of the action across the northern hemisphere all around the area of interest in the epicenter through Alaska, Atlantic Plate, very deep earthquakes, and multiple over the last little while here through Indonesia and Fiji, South America. So yeah, pretty busy the last seven days. Stay aware and prepared and just have a plan, everybody. I always say expect the worst and prepare for the best. And just know that everything will go as planned. Very busy. Seven days for earthquakes. And we're still watching them continue. Feel free to come on into the live stream. 24-7 earthquake live chat and images. Constantly monitoring. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center. Most recent volcanoes being updated. Kluchevskoy in Russia. Uh, an avalanche being reported in Sumdang, West Java, Sabankaya in Peru. Avalanches being reported in Central Switzerland, U.S., Reventador in Ecuador, Era in Japan, Sangay in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Popo in Mexico. So that's about 10 volcanoes being updated the last 24 hours. And as well throughout the day, Etna was very active. I'm surprised that was not reported here. But some pretty explosive and fiery eruptions happening around Mount Etna today. Observing here that large low pressure system that is affecting northwestern United States coast and up into BC and then Alaska. Watch for winter storm conditions, higher elevations, strong winds. And as well across Spain, they saw some record snowfall from that system that went through. I had warned a couple days ago, and they did get quite a dumping. 20 inches of snow, record snowfall recorded in Spain, and as well a little bit in Italy as well early. But across the planet right now, Northern Hemisphere, we're seeing extreme cold conditions. Northern Pakistan, Central Asia. As we're watching those cold temps from northern Siberia start to really get deep and cold. Western Austria, extreme cold conditions. Spain, extreme cold conditions. And it will be swinging around to North America quite quick here. Let's get to Meteor Earth 5-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth. And as well, Mike from Morning Dew. Always starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. As we're still seeing above seasonable temperatures, Chinook, after Chinook, after Chinook, these low pressure systems are just coming too high in latitude. And you can see here, this system is going to miss us again. And we need this moisture. It is very dry here in Alberta. We could really use it. So Chinooks can go away anytime now. Let's have some winter. So this low pressure system, Alberta Clipper, will be heading into Ontario and feeding down those really cold temperatures. So this will be a winter storm event for Ontario and eastward. Looking at, th what's that? Friday into Saturday for that big storm. But you can see these cold temperatures. They're starting to move in. And as far south as Florida. Look at this, minus one, minus two, almost minus two degrees Celsius, that is, in Florida, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Crazy stuff. Overlooking Europe, low pressure system still hanging around and has not really branched off. But in this five day forecast, it's going to send some eastward into Russia. Other than that, we're still watching a lot of moisture, heavy snowfall through Turkey as well as Serbia. And then very kind of like the west coast of North America, unseasonable temperatures across uh, Western Europe. 
and as well the UK there as they've got a system coming in it will bring rain some very cool and drastic temperatures invading northern Africa there we're gonna have to keep an eye on that in the next few days overlooking Africa not too much to talk about really for daily evaporation rains nothing too serious to talk about and then we have these two twin cyclones that are spinning in the middle of the Indian Ocean and will be heading westward towards Mauritius and then Madagascar later in the week so this will be a double punch twin cyclone event for Madagascar probably in eight days overlooking the Philippines Indonesia daily evaporation rains heavier towards Jakarta where they've been seeing a lot of landslides and as well the Philippines Australia very dry as well dry and hot southeastern regions will see a cool spree for about two days enjoy it because it'll be right back into the blazing hot temperatures thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who has to live in such hot conditions I, I can't stand the heat overlooking South America daily evaporation rains but heavy at times Thursday into Friday and then Friday into Saturday watch for this huge low pressure system to develop Argentina pointer border there you see all those dark blues and purples those are that's gonna be heavy rain and hail events and as well snow and hail events through Bolivia Paraguay so heads up South America you do have a very stormy week ahead of you and into the weekend with that low pressure cell we'll leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern pointing out of course still the major systems spinning in the Pacific and as well the cold temperatures that will be fueling around the planet thanks everybody for watching and thanks again for everybody joining the channel choosing morning dew we just passed 18,000 followers God bless you all so much I appreciate you stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning dew bye bye If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.